What's going on YouTube? This is iTalk. Oh, you make a loopy loop and home. And Ty. Here and today's video we have a brand new video So the first thing I really want to just quickly get out of the way is that tomorrow is gonna be a very big video I wanted it out today, but it's taking too long, but I actually have off all day on Saturday So expect that video to be out on Saturday. So now let's really get into the video So first thing I wanted to talk about today is that currently in the item shop right now. We have a moth skin Yes, a moth skin skin with a lamp harvesting tool yes this is real and it's kind of funny to me that epic games kind of missed the ball they kind of waited until the meme was pretty much forgotten about like i don't remember the moth meme since like for like a few months now i haven't even thought about that meme so i know it takes time for them to make things and i know it takes time for them to make skins and gliders and harvesting tools and all that so i'm not saying that it's terrible what they did i'm just saying i think they kind of the kind of reviving a dead meme i think at this point but i think the skin is amazing and the lamp is dope as well so if you want to get them in the item shop but i highly recommend you get them now because they will be gone by saturday night uh next thing i want to talk about is we're going to talk about the reflex skin again now i mentioned this in the g-force bundle video and basically what i said was it is a g-force bundle skin and what you actually have to do to get this skin is that you actually have to pay money for a brand new graphics card which would be a 1060 a 1060 ti or a 1070 and it sucks because i actually have a graphics card that's better than all three of those so it's kind of frustrating that this bundle is only for those that have really shitty pcs and we're all of a sudden planning on upgrading the graphics card. So I think it's really shitty. Hopefully we can get this skin on CD keys. We'll have to wait and see if that is the case. Because if that is the case, I will definitely let you guys know. So you don't have to worry about buying a brand new graphics card for your PC just to get a skin. Next thing I want to mention is that people are really clamoring for the onesie skin. A lot of people, especially on social media, have really taken a liking to the onesie skin. And last time we really talked about it, I, I believe, we talked about it how it was actually not even in the files anymore. And then it got put back into the files. But we actually have some pretty interesting news here. It turns out that the onesie skin is actually in the crowd in this picture for the Season 6 Week 10 loading screen. So I'm pretty sure we're going to be seeing the onesie skin probably in the daily shop sometime soon and I'm really looking forward to it. Also just want to mention with the moth skin is that the preview picture that Fortnite posted for this for the skin it shows that it's snowing outside. I think this might be a hint that we're going to be getting snow next season. Also we have a Walmart spray. If you go to Walmart on Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern time there will be a battle bus in the video game section and all you have to do is just go over there and ask for a code and you get this cool boogie spray now what's really sad is that we actually all had this spray if you played in season five and got to a, a, a specific rank you would have gotten the spray already i had it and then they took it away from us replaced it with a really generic bogey like looking uh spray so what we actually have to do is you have to go to walmart to get the spray now, I don't really know much else you have to do. I mean, that's pretty much what you have to do. But I do know is that it is limited to one per customer. I'm going to try to see if I can get multiple codes. But if I can't, I'll let you guys know. And uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. Also, last thing I wanted to really mention is that the shotguns feel great. And I'm really happy with how they got buffed. And I think this means we're going to get a really new, different kind of meta for Season 7 moving forward with these pumps. I think it's a great thing that they actually made the pumps viable again. And I really want to know what you guys think about all this. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know with a like because it really helps out the channel. Subscribe to the channel if you're actually new. Turn on the bell just so you get all my latest uploads and you never miss an upload from me. Comment down below what do you think about all the things I talked about today. I would really like to know. You can follow me on Twitter at italkfortnite. You can join my Discord, as well as if you want to use me for supporter creator, just use the word italkfortnite in the supporter creator tab. Have a good one, guys. See ya.